Hey, Joshua here, and today I want to show you a technique called framing that's used by some of the most successful people for achieving their dreams, goals, and changing habits even. So today I'm going to show you this technique because here's what I know. If you can change the frame, you can change anything in your life. So the first thing you need to know about this whole frame thing is that frame is just another word for belief. But we're using the word frame today because I want it to resonate in your mind differently. Because when things resonate in our minds differently, then it leads us to a different outcome or it resonates faster, which leads to a different result. And you might hear some thundering in the background. <laughs> I think it's raining. But anyways, so the best way I can kind of break this down is I remember going to a conference where I first kind of heard about this term and a different way of thinking about this. Uh, it was by a speaker who was, he was talking to this large, we were sitting in this large audience. And what he does is he got on this big screen, he put up two pictures, one at a time. The first picture was a picture of this city that was just, it looked tarnished. It looked like it was abandoned. It looked like not a place that you or me would want to ever visit. Or I, I should say. You or I would ever want to visit. <laughs> So he put that picture up and he let it just sit for a second. And you could see all the trash and all of the abandoned buildings. And so he let that sit for a second before taking that one down and then putting up the second picture. And the second picture was this beautiful skyline. I mean, if you've ever, you know, stayed the night at a hotel on a high floor and you went out on the balcony and you looked over at the city, You've seen one of those like, like just brightly lit cities. It's beautiful. It was breathtaking. And that just kind of seemed like a place where I'd like to see that in person. And so he let that sit for a second before putting both pictures on the screen at the same time. And here's what he asked the audience once he got both pictures there at the same time. He asked them, I want you to tell me what's the location or can you name the location of each photo? And so, of course, the audience starts yelling out what area or city they think it is or, or the photo belongs to. People that are from those cities, like especially the one associated with the, the uh, abandoned looking city, they're like, that's not my city. And it just kind of creates a little bit of chaos for, for a little bit before the speaker revealed the location of each photo. Now, you put up the first one, the abandoned looking city that none of us will ever want to visit. And he put the name of it. It was London. That city was London. So everybody looks around like, oh, wow. Okay. So then he puts up the second picture. And that city, guess, was also London. They were both the same place. It was just a different frame. A different frame. Same place. Different frame. That's why, or I should say, that's the impact that our frame has on our life. You can have two people looking at the same words, the same situation, and both walk away with a different perspective. Both walk away with a, a different experience. But the key is, if you're going to control the outcomes, the results in your life, you have to understand the impact of your frame. And so I'm gonna help you do that by showing you three areas. Three areas that your frame impacts and that other people who are successful understand this so they make sure that they influence their frame and I want you to be able to do the same so you can experience some success in your life, all right? So here's what I'm gonna show you first. Let's write the word impact and please uh, forgive my handwriting today. I'm gonna try to keep it as neat as possible. I've been working on this since third grade. <laughs> all right, the first area your a frame impacts is what I call function. Your frame always will impact your function. You may be asking, well, what do you mean by function? Well, the word function, I love the definition, it's defined as the, the purpose for which a person or thing is used. I'm going to say that again. The purpose for which a person or thing is used. So I'll give you, I'll show you an example. Let's say we have this frame here. I'm gonna draw you a frame, all right? And let's say in that frame, we have the, the it said the purpose for which a person or a thing. So let's say we have a thing, and that thing is these three words right here. 
These three words inside of your frame. I don't want that color. Let's see. These three words inside of your frame. I don't know. Have you ever seen those three words? Or let me say it this way. Have you ever started out doing something? Like you, you're trying to go after a goal or change a habit and then you get to a point or a space where you're not sure what to do next. And you're faced with these three words that I just showed you here. These three words right here. I don't know. Well, if you're like me, you, you have experienced quitting quite a few times because you get to a place where you don't know. In fact, I remember, I remember so clearly, man, there was a time when I was, you know, there's like broke and then there's this space right underneath that's like dirt broke. All right, that was me. In this, during this time of my life, I, th I barely had any representation of a savings account, like maybe a few dollars in a savings account. My checkers account, like it was, <laughs> it was on life support, barely staying above zero. And I remember thinking to myself like, man, one day I would love to be able to gain some momentum in my finances. Like one day I want to make more than $7.27 an hour. At that time, I thought making $10 an hour was like banking. And I remember being so frustrated because I wanted to experience greater momentum, greater increase in my finances, but I had no clue how. I had no clue how. I was faced with these three words right here. I don't know. And so here's going back to when I say uh, your frame impacts function. Remember. Function represents, it's the purpose for which a thing or a person is used. So here I am faced with these three words, I don't know. The function is up to me to determine how these three words are used in my life. Now, they could either be used as a limitation or it could be used as a start, a starting point. I don't know does not have to be some limiting factor in your life. Just because you don't know how to go, you know, trade on the trade market and make millions of dollars, or how to go buy real estate and, and become, you know, financially free, or how to change that habit, or how to go after that job, or how to, you know, do what you fill in the blank. Just because you don't know doesn't mean that you have to stay there or worse, quit. You get to determine the function of these three words in your life or any three words that you put into the frame or your frame. You get to determine the function. No one else gets to determine that. And so going back to the story, because I determined that that was going to be a starting point and I was on learn because I was tired of being broke y'all. I was tired of <laughs> putting rice in the rice pot, hoping that, you know, it magically because I couldn't, I could barely afford the electricity bill. So I decided, you know what? This ain't fun. I'm going to change the frame on these words. I don't know. And I'm going to pick up a book, which I'm so thankful. A friend of mine gave me a book um, that got me started with just building a, a, uh, a savings account. And because I changed the frame and I, and I looked at it as a start, I don't know as a start. I, I determined the function for the words. I don't know meant start. And because of that, my savings account grew from 200 to 500, 500 to 1,000, 1,000 all the way from 50, 60, 70, 80, 90,000. But it started with the function. Your frame has the greatest impact on your function. You get to determine that, all right? So that's the first thing. Your frame has the greatest impact on the function. The second thing that your frame has the greatest impact on is your feelings man now this is a big one <laughs> and for many of us all we have to do is look around society and, and we can tell that this one here is one that for many our frame is having either a negative or a positive impact on like you think about it. The, what, you know what comes to mind when I think about our frame? We'll give you this example. Maybe this will help understand how our frame impacts our feelings. 
when we look at just even these three words here, I don't know, our feelings are either going to be negative or positive, okay? Depending on how we frame those three words. If we frame them with the, with the proper, uh, we frame them as something positive, then we will look at it as a start. If we frame it as something negative, we will look at it as a limitation. But it all depends on our frame. Our frame impacts our feelings. And for many of us, there are times when we will allow things in our frame to have such a big impact on our feelings that we don't move. Some of you have felt overwhelmed so you don't do anything. Overwhelmed so you procrastinate. If that's you, say, yep, yeah, because it's definitely, it's been me. And I'm sure it's been you as well. But I want you to see the source of that. The source of that is your frame. If you look at I don't know or if you look at I can't or I'm not good enough or I haven't done that. If you look at that as something negative, then it would impact your feelings. And your feelings make it the hardest for you to take action on anything. I'll give you another example here. Lately, I've been trying to get back in some semblance of better shape, right? So there are some days where I think about working out and the words that come into my frame is I don't want to, okay? And my feelings start to follow on that. I start to feel tired. I start to dread getting to that first rep. But here's what happens. I have to reframe it and I frame it as, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, but I've already decided that this is what I need to do in order to get to the, the health and the physique and the lifestyle, really, that's really what it's about, that I want to accomplish. If you change the frame, your frame will impact your function and your frame will impact your feelings. Stop letting your feelings run your life. And fix your frame in such a way that your frame controls your feelings. Because your frame will always control your feelings. And so make sure you look at, if you're ever feeling like, man, I, I, I'm having this issue with procrastination, go back to your, your feelings. What are you feeling about the outcome that you desire? What are you telling yourself? If you're, if you're not, if you're being inconsistent, if you're struggling with inconsistency, what are you telling yourself about your, your ability to achieve and become that person that can accomplish that thing? I can guarantee you, if you analyze that, you will see that your frame, I can guarantee, has some negative thoughts. There's some negative thoughts that are, that are weighing you down from deeper levels of your potential. All right? So that's the second thing. Your frame really has the greatest impact on your feelings. And the, the last thing that your frame impacts is your fight. I'll put an exclamation mark on that one. Your Fight. Your frame will always, always determine the level of your fight. There are going to be setbacks in your life. That is inevitable. We all face them. I remember one time I was, I was, my speaking career was finally starting to gain some momentum. I was getting calls to go speak at places and go, you know, do things. And I really enjoyed impacting people's lives in that way. And I remember one specific day, it was on a Friday, and I had a speaking engagement. And I woke up that morning, went downstairs to get in my car and go grab breakfast or something. And then lo and behold, I look around and I do not see my car where I parked it. It is gone. And so <laughs> I'll never forget. I'm so glad there was no camera out there because here's what I did. I went back upstairs. And then walk back down. Like, am I like, am I having an out of body experience? Did I just walk down here and my car is not there? And here's why I was so surprised because I'm, I'm from a small country town. Oh, everybody knows everybody. And so you don't ever worry about your car being stolen because you know you're going to see whoever it is down the road somewhere, anyways, because we're in such a small town. But in this case, I had moved to a larger city and made a, a crucial mistake of leaving my doors unlocked and my car was gone. That's very night I had a speaking engagement where I'm supposed to go in here and encourage a group of people 
on the same day that somebody had the audacity to take my beloved 96 Honda Accord with the faded top. So I remember going back upstairs and my then, my, my then girlfriend, now wife, called me and she's like, what are you going to do? And my frame, my frame at the time said I got two choices. Either I can dwell on this, get upset, throw a tantrum, you know, go start knocking on doors. Or, or I can realize that that's a car. I'm still alive. I still got breath in my lungs. You know what? That place I'm supposed to speak at tonight, it's actually in walking distance. I grew up my whole life walking around town. I can handle this. Your frame determines your fight. Some of you, every little, st every little setback causes you to just quit. And it's time that you fix your frame so that no matter what adversity is thrown at you, you don't allow it to deter you. You don't allow it to cause you to shrink back, but you use that bad boy. You use that bad boy as gasoline, as fuel to continue moving towards what only you were called for because you, my friend, are one of one, meaning there is no one else that is meant to do what you are called to do. And so when you have that kind of frame, no matter what, if it's a stolen car that gets put into it, if it's I don't know that gets put into it, if it's I'm afraid or I'm anxious or I'm depressed, whatever it is, you will begin to learn to frame it in a way that is for your good because you understand your purpose and you understand that you are here with purpose. So therefore, your frame should dictate your function, your feelings, and your fight. I hope this is helpful, man. I hope this is helpful. I'm telling you, if you can get this, this will change. You can change anything, any habit. You can change anything if you get this. If you learn how to take that frame and determine, is this going to be a positive thing or am I going to allow this to be a negative thing? Am I going to allow this to take my feelings in a positive direction or a negative direction? Am I going to be able to look at this and use it as a function for starting or for stopping again? And I guarantee you when, you, when you learn to control and master the frame, you, my friend, will change the game. And that game being your life. All right? I hope this was helpful. If so, if you found value in this, then make sure, don't forget, uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, make sure that you uh, hit the notification button. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and like and comment so that we can continue doing these and um, that's all for today but remember till next time success is your destiny and I'll see you all in the next one